Hey, 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 Snappers, it's Tournament the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft from the Time Shot server. Sorry, I forgot for a second there what series we were doing. Uh, but yeah, we are on the Time Shot server, and today we are going to be doing uh, some fun action oriented stuff because um, I am starting to do some more work out um, at. Well, I'm not. I haven't yet, but I'm getting to the point where uh, I'm going to be soon able to be getting to do more work out at the ocean uh, base that we're working on. Um, with the, Starting with the donator hall there is going to be the central hub of the ocean base. Um, but it, while I'm doing more work out there, and if you guys watched the, um, the prank episode we did with Code's Cat Hut recently, uh, where Edson and Fabe joined us in that one, um, building out on that was so nice because we had jump boost and some of these other things um, available to us. Um, and so I decided, uh, Fabe has this wither killer thing set up where it's a, a nice easy way to get at the withers and things like that. Um, and so I decided that, uh, we might as well go ahead then, uh, because I, I know for myself that, um, killing a wither is not in my repertoire. I've, I've tried it before. If you guys, um, if you guys have seen, if, if those of you guys who have been following me for a, a while pre-time shot, or if you've gone back and caught up on any of my other Minecraft series, um, I've been on one other SMP in my time on YouTube, um, and so um, if you guys have, have watched any of those videos from Far Side, which I know a couple of you guys like Ness and and some of those of you guys who actually watch the Minecraft stuff and have been around for that long, um, I know like Ness, you were a fan of the Far Side stuff and stuff like that. There was an episode of Farside, I believe, that made it out there for you guys, where um, I needed some beacons, and I was, you know, I needed the Nether Stars, I'm like, you know what, this episode, we're gonna fight a Wither, and it's gonna be great, and, um, I thought I had it set up, I, I had it in my mind that these things couldn't destroy Obsidian, which I know now is, is, is false, uh, but so I went into the end, and I, uh, I grabbed, you know, I, I carved out a, a bit of obsidian, and I, I decided, whew, I'm glad that wasn't a fall to my death, huh? I'm gonna need to pick up some of that soul sand, actually, while we're talking, but, um, I carved out a, this little obsidian hole in one of those pillars there in the end, and I was like, alright, so we're gonna kill this thing here, and, uh, and then we'll, you know, we'll be able to get our thing, it'll be nice and easy and clean, and, and then I learned very quickly that they can destroy obsidian, and, uh, <laughs> And so, I, I, I heard it, I heard it, there's, there is one. We're looking for Withers, by, Wither Skulls, by the way. We've got two, and I've got a looting sword here, so hopefully it won't take, it, it took me a while to get these two, but I'm hoping that we can, uh, that we can go ahead and get this third one. I wanted to get, I wanted to get at least one with you guys. Um, alright, so hold on, let me, I want to, I want to pick up, uh, we need some of this Soul Sand 2 for this to work. So let's, uh, go. Uh, I don't actually need that. Uh, we need, what, four soul sand for this? So there we go. But yeah, so, um, my mistakes aside before, um, there is, in fact, a way where you can quickly and easily kill withers if you're... Because I'm not looking for the challenge, because right now I know that I can't live up to that challenge. I'm not... I'm. You guys know me. I'm not a, a fighting tortoise. I'm a, I'm a builder. I'm a lover. Definitely not a fighter. Uh, and so... Um, taking on a wither is just not something that's in my repertoire. I just, that's not gonna happen. Um, I would, I would fail miserably, and then I would have to bring people in to help me kill it, and I don't have anybody around at the moment. So, um, today's goal is not to fight a wither, but today's goal is to get a beacon, uh, for out at the ocean base. Um, the design I've put together allows for that anyway, uh, built in with that, so, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and I think that's gonna work out nicely. Now, obviously, I don't have all the materials necessary to actually get a, a full beacon together, um, as in, like, the entire pyramid, but, um, we'll get cl as close as we can, and then we can continue to add levels to it as time goes on. Um, so, oh, ooh, I didn't even see this little magma cube. Um, I do have fire protection on my helmet or something, I think, uh, although I need to, I need to be a little more careful because... Um, I think my helmet and my boots are both getting kind of close. Yeah, uh, closer than the other pieces. I, I made myself a new pair of pants, uh, since I, I still haven't gotten mine back from the pirates. Um, my ransom is yet to be, uh, commented on, but, um, I shouldn't have done that. I should have, I should have kited him in. Um, 
but that's I, I'm also pre-recording a bit because of the holiday season, um, and like this week, um, no, this isn't. This is the last week of my break uh, that you guys will be seeing this episode. Um, in in that, so next week I go back to work, and when me and my wife are at work, I have a little more flexibility because we're not traveling and she's not home all the time and things like that. Um, and so we have a little more flexibility for recording. So um, next week I will be back at work, but I'm going to try and re re pre-record up through next week uh, so that we can, um, so that, you know, I can just be all set up and then I can, you know, next week when I'm back at work and can record, I don't have to worry about getting stuff out for that week. I can just, you know, start piling in for, for the week after that and things like that, which is how I prefer to do it anyway. Um, and, and I've been lucky that... Um, I've been able to find enough time here uh, that I can pre-record some of that stuff up. Um, but, uh, oh, see, how did he even... Oh, there it is! Okay, we've got our three skulls. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Um, I don't have time to eat. I don't have time to eat. I came out here, uh, it was just me and Jake online. Jake had just logged on. I was out here, uh, looking for, um, I had to find Fabe's Wither Killer. Um, which will head there now actually, but um, I had to find it because I wasn't really sure where it was I'd never been to the old nether hub before because um, that predated me by a good bit Because um, I remember actually uh, when I was on far side I remember when this place got built the the time shot nether hub I wasn't a time shot fan. I didn't even really know it existed yet at that point um, I wasn't as engrossed with the overall community as I am now um, but um, I didn't even know Time Shot existed, but I was on Far Side, and um, one of the guys on Far Side had built a, a an hourglass, um, not as our Nether hub, but it was actually I don't I don't know where the idea came from. I think they just liked it. I, I don't I honestly don't know. But if you guys remember from Far Side, if you guys watch Far Side, um, or or if you don't, but at the time that this was built, we already had a giant hourglass as the it was it was in the overworld but our nether port our like spawn hub nether portal was inside of it so it was basically something kind of like this um but inside was just the nether portal you walked in and you were able to you know do that um and uh and i remember at the time <clears throat> i think mk built this if i remember correctly obviously i'm sure there was help with that but I, I remember at the time that mk was working on it because um one of the girls uh in effect I'll, 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 while i'm talking I'll, I'll continue on to where i'm going where's dave's portal um one of the girls that was on far side with me was sanny um, and you guys may know sanny she's she's pretty active she's a in the godiva gaming group and things like that she doesn't record anymore uh, really Ooh, I don't know if I, I think like sugar still records from far side um, But other than that, I honestly don't know that anyone else from far side is even still recording anymore um, But Sandy at the time she was in Godiva gaming so she was connected with like MK and them and uh, We she started getting some crap because people would see our nether hub in or our you know nether portal in uh, for her videos, I guess and uh, and they were like, "Oh, you guys copied uh, these people, MK or whatever." And I knew of I knew of MK. I honestly, I, I was following Poet and Win and MK and all those guys for a while before I even like bothered to watch their vanilla because I was kind of at the time burnt out on vanilla. And so I, I wasn't watch. I was watching like all the Poet's Dinosaur stuff and I was watching Win's Pixelmon stuff and um, and things like that. But I, I never really had bothered to watch the Time Shot stuff, so I wasn't really familiar with what, what was going on on here. But this is the old Nether Hub. We get to it now by going through Dave's portal. He pretty much has a ladder up to his portal, but if you continue on through there, uh, on the top of the of the new Nether Hub, so we're kind of just up right above the the new Nether Hub. Um, and I don't even know which direction. I don't know where this is exactly in relation to the new hub. Like, I don't know who we're above here. Some, there's glass somewhere along here, I guess. But anyway, uh, so we're right above the new nether hub. Um, and which I honestly, until uh, I was doing uh, the cat hut build with the guys and they mentioned, I asked Babe, where, where is your, um, where is your, you know, wither killer thing at? I honestly didn't even know there was an old nether hub. <laughs> um, Cause I, I've only really been following Time Shot uh, since like the beginning of the year. So like David had already been kicked off and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I, the only only knowledge I had of it at that time back in the day 
was that there was all this controversy. Oh, we st Farsight had stolen the thing, and it's like, well, I mean, ours had been up for a while. Um, and I don't think anyone really stole anything. I mean, it, it makes perfect sense for Time Shot. And even if, you know, somebody got the inspiration um, for theirs from Time Shot. Um, no, nah, wait, I don't think that's going to be right. I don't think that's right. I, I, I remember I watched, I pulled up Fabe's episode where he first built this thing. Because he said, oh, it's in the old Nether Hub. And then I never really got any further uh, information on that. And so I had to, I kind of pull up a video um, and take a look at it. Okay, so, um... Okay, and we need to flick that switch. And now it's up in the ceiling. Um, did it do its explosion? No, it's still pulling up. There it goes. So now we can shoot it. And it's kind of trapped. Uh, and it can't get at us. And uh, we can go ahead and, and hurt it. Um, but yeah, so this is this is Fabe's... Does, not, I don't think it's his design. He mentioned somebody named Panda. Um, a friend of his who, who had done something with this as well. I'm sure this is pretty common, uh, but I think that's where he... Oh, no! Okay, and... There we go! Dead. The beginning. So there we go. We've got our nether star. That's a very nice little thing. That's very cool. Thank you so much, Favor, for putting that together and for giving me the breadcrumbs I needed to get out there. Who what is this? Oh, well... That works too. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And he's got some extra there. I think Fabe is the only one who really uses this thing, so uh, put that stuff together for himself. We should probably, maybe at some point we'll talk to Fabe and maybe get this more formalized so that uh, people know how to get to it. Because um, I had to, I had to do some digging to find it, but that's a, that's a useful thing. Uh, and I don't know how many people are setting up beacons and stuff. I, I know Edson did a bunch. I'm sure he used that as well. Although, honestly, I think Edson actually battled his withers when he was doing beacons for spawn and stuff so i don't know anyway um but yeah so that was kind of my first experience with time shot which i didn't you know it wasn't a big i didn't care uh, fan boys will be fanboys, i guess but uh people got all up in arms i remember and, and so if you guys if you maybe some of you guys have been around the time shot community since then um and you remember when all that happened too and you're like who are these puny farsight people who are stealing our hub or it I, honestly i don't know where the idea came from on either end i can't really comment on it uh, but i think controversy in general is just dumb so <laughs> yeah anyway we're, we're back over here um and let's we got to go to tortoise island i think because i think that's where i've got all my obsidian so uh, we're gonna head back there and we will uh make up this beacon and uh, then we'll probably call it a day? I don't know, maybe we'll go... Well, no, we can't put it in place yet, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, we cannot put it in place yet because the place where it's going is currently still blocked off, so it's not like we can get actual benefit from it. Um, but we'll do that maybe in the next episode. Maybe we'll go out um, and start working on the Donator Hall a little bit, and we'll get the beacon in place and stuff for when we do that. Um, because right now where the beacons are going to be shining through is kind of the center of the Donator Hall, and, uh, our nether portal is sitting right there, so, um, yeah, yeah, uh, but I think we should have everything we need to make the beacon at least, so we'll get that knocked out, uh, because it's just obsidian and, um, glass, I think, so, oop, that's my wood chest, none of that would be in there. Alright, so we definitely have obsidian. Okay, so I legit don't have any glass. Do I? Do I have glass? No! I do not. Alright, um... <clears throat> so let me... One, two, three. Let me put this back in case we end up getting ourselves killed or something. Let's quickly drop off all this stuff I got while gathering uh, stuff or the wither skulls there. Uh, all those materials, tons of bones and stuff. Um, still waiting to hear back from the pirates, but as I said, I'm pre-recording a bit, so um, that's to be expected. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. Okay, so what we need now is just a little bit of sand. We need, what, five sand? Where can I get sand from? Let's... I think it's mostly dirt down here dirt and clay, which we're gonna need to gather some more clay, uh, for sure for- oh, there's some sand, there's a little couple pockets of sand, perfect, we can grab- I just need eight to get us going here, we'll do eight because that's the full, 
you know, a piece of coal will, will cook up eight, so that'll work out nicely. Um, get that so we can get our beacon made. I do need to, at some point, um, I do need to, at some point, head out to the desert and actually get a, a chest or so of sand together, because glass will be important. Probably will need some glass for um, the Donator Hall. Um, there's a little bit in the build that I've planned, so... Um, perfect. Eight. Fantastic. And we can put this dirt back. Beautiful. That grass will spread. Nobody will even know I was here. So let's head back to Tortoise Island. We missed. Alright. Oh, have I replaced all the wood here? I think I did. When the when the pants pirates came by, they also uh, they look suspiciously well like Nintendo, but they uh, they kept stealing the wood from my trees. <laughs> I would like turn around and like three logs would be missing or whatever, and they wouldn't take enough that like the trees would disappear. But uh, I kept having to replace the wood. <laughs> it looks like I've got it all back. All right, so now let's. Uh... Oh wait, no, hold on, hold on, getting ahead of ourselves here. We gotta cook up this sand, so let's do that very quickly. Pop that in there. Let that ride. I'm still using coal here. Another thing we might want to do at some point, um, I have yet to find a nice easy access to get to the lava pool, or like the lava lakes down below where I can fill up my lava buckets pretty quickly um, and easily. Um, and so let's let's sweep while we're, while we're hanging out. Um, <clears throat> the beginning? The beginning. All right. Let's kind of, let's, let's, what, what are these achievements? So. Achievement spawn the wither, okay, and then achievement kill the wither, perfect. All right, um, so what was I, what was I saying? I was um talked about them. Oh yeah, the lava. We might at, at some point here, maybe next episode, maybe the episode after that. I gotta figure out how far along, how much more materials I honestly need to uh, get started on the donator hall. We may be able to get going enough. I, I, I'd want to be able to have like at least one. That's all the last we need. Um, have at least like one section of the wall up. I, I don't want to like get started and be like, okay, well that's out, us out of materials. Um, so it, I'll have to look at how much materials we need for that. But. Um, if, if we if I need to gather a ton more stuff like I definitely am gonna need more clay because we're I mean, I wanted my main goal with this build I, I've always wanted to do a build where I actually incorporated bricks and and so often brick is so hard to use in Minecraft um, that I, I want to make sure that I actually use some of it somewhere because I just I, it's one of those I love the brick tech I love brick in real life but it's so hard to use in Minecraft, and so I, I want to I want to use it. And I, I've used little accents here, like my fireplace, and I don't really like my outdoor stove here. I'll probably end up changing this at some point, but uh, more or less, it's in place. But I really love it over here in the in the the little turtle shack. Um, uh, speaking of turtle shacks, um, we need to. Uh, play. It sounds like Code might be coming for us. Uh, he wants his, his turtle shack back, so we may need to. We may need to make sure we get ourselves well established over there too, so that may be another another episode or maybe that off camera, just kind of getting established in the turtle hut over there at spawn to make sure that we've got our claim appropriately staked so that he can't just move back in and and all that. So uh, we need to we need to keep our eye on the sneaky cat. We went all went through all this trouble, build him an awesome new house, and he wants the old place back, and I just don't get it. So we'll keep an eye on the sneaky cat, but um for now, uh, we've got our beacon made, and so we think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we could just pop this down and uh, we, you know, fill it up with stuff. We obviously need, you know, some level of blocks right underneath it for it to do anything. Uh, and we'll, we'll continue to build up these pyramids as time goes on. We can get the secondary power once we get the full pyramid. I don't know if these actually, like, if there's any difference between this level, this level, or this level. Maybe you can get, like... I don't know. I don't know if there's any, you know, noticeable difference between those or if it's basically, you know, you jump from this level to that level um, sort of thing. But we'll fill it up as we can. Maybe we'll AFK. Let me get the Silk Touch one just to be safe. I don't think it's necessary, but we'll go ahead and do it just in case. We may need to AFK at like Edson's Iron Farm or something at some point to get enough iron to fill it up. In fact, maybe I'll go do that right now. Just kind of hang out there for a bit. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torment the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys. And I'll see you guys all back here the next time on Time Shot Server. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one.